I've got some great spooky sweet treats to try this Halloween and they're all based around these delicious pumpkin and ginger cupcakes. They're a delicious pumpkin cupcake spiced up with a little bit of fresh root ginger and then some sweet sultanas in there as well. I've got some really great spooky designs here so click on the options below to see how the cupcakes are made or try one of my three decoration ideas. At the heart of these spooky cupcakes is pumpkin puree, which is really simple to make. You just take some diced pumpkin, or you could use butternut squash, and then boil it for about 15 minutes until it's completely soft. Then drain it and mash it really well. Then pop it in some kitchen roll and squeeze out all of the excess moisture so you end up with a lovely, vibrant pumpkin puree. To kick off with, I've got some root ginger. I'm just gonna grate that into the flour using a fine grater. And root ginger's got that lovely, warming, spicy quality that goes really, really well with pumpkin. Just put some softened butter into your mixer. Now, if you haven't got a stand mixer like this, you could just use a large bowl and electric hand whisk. And then some muscovado sugar. And that's got those lovely sort of toffee notes which go really, really well with sweet things like sultanas and pumpkin. And then in with the flour and ginger. And then some baking powder and a couple of eggs. But it's really simple, there's no creaming of the butter or sugar, just everything all in together and just stick it on to blend. Just give it a quick whiz, just to bring everything together. You don't want to overwork it, otherwise the gluten in the flour will toughen up and you end up with quite tough, dense cupcakes. And then next up, the pumpkin puree. Add that to the cake mix and then some sultanas. And they're gonna add a little burst of sweetness through the cupcakes. And just give it a quick blend just to combine. And there we are, that mixture's already taken on that lovely orange color from the pumpkin puree. And even though it's not cooked yet, you can smell that ginger coming through. I'm just gonna fill my cupcake cases with a generous spoonful in each, about three quarters full. And this mixture should make about 12 to 18 cupcakes, depending on the size of your tins in your cases. So once you fill the cases, they can go straight into a hot oven at 180 degrees. So the cupcakes will take about 20 minutes. You can really get that ginger as soon as you open the oven door. And they should be golden brown and risen, just springy to the touch. And you can see that lovely orangey yellow color that's come out of the pumpkin. So just carefully transfer them onto a wire cooling rack. So these are ready to decorate when they're cool. And I've got three great spooky decoration ideas for these cupcakes. So click on the one that you want to see first. These creepy crawly Halloween cupcakes are great fun to make and absolutely delicious. And there's three different toppings, spiders webs, creepy crawly spiders, and some centipedes as well. They're all based around a simple cream cheese frosting with just a little bit of natural green food coloring in there. So for the icing, just pop some soft cheese into a bowl with some icing sugar. Just work the icing sugar into the cream cheese. And then just add a little drop of natural green food coloring and just stir that in. And then take some of this frosting and just spread it over the surface of your cupcakes. And then for three different toppings. First up, I'm gonna show you how to make a spider's web. I've got some melted dark chocolate in a bowl here. And then pour it into a piping bag. And you can use milk chocolate or dark chocolate. I'm gonna pipe two crosses across the cake. And then intersecting those with another cross. Then start to pipe the inside of the web, working your way out. So that's the spider's web, now time for the spider itself. Take a black grape, this is gonna make the spider's body, and then take a blueberry, and just put that in front for the head. And then for the legs, I'm just gonna take a licorice catherine wheel, cut four equal lengths of licorice, and then cut each length down the middle to create two legs. To put the legs on, just take 
one end and put it right up close to the body and then curl it over and set it into the icing like that. And then just work your way around with all eight legs. And then once you've got all the legs in, just do two little dots of chocolate for eyes. And there you have it, a spooky little spider. So the final creepy crawly is a centipede. So these long, thin lines of chocolate are going to be the legs. Take some blueberries and cut them in half, and then just start to place them along the line of chocolate legs. And then put one whole blueberry at the end for the head. Just from another blueberry, cut a little pointy tail. And then just finish with two little dots of chocolate for the eyes. And there you have it, a cobweb, a spider, and a centipede. Three creepy crawly cupcakes. If you like those, why not try one of my other decoration ideas? I'm going to show you how to make cute spooks cupcake topping and it's made using some soft apple puree, a little bit of cream cheese and a bit of lemon in there for some sharpness and then some pieces of blueberry for the spooky eyes. So for the apple puree it's really simple. Put a pan on the heat and add two small cooking apples that have been peeled, cored and diced and then some lemon juice. We only need about a teaspoon and a half. It just helps to add a little bit of liquid to the apples but also it's going to help stop the apple from discolouring because what we're looking for is a really bright, brilliant white icing. Pop a lid on and leave them to cook gently until they're soft. Once the apple's completely soft, take a potato masher and just mash the apple to a smooth puree. Just set it aside and leave it to cool completely. So I've got some cream cheese in a bowl. And just a little tip, if you're ever working with cream cheese, just give it a bit of a beat first, just to soften it. And then you'll find it much easier to add all the other ingredients. So the cream cheese is going to add cooled apple puree, beat that in, and then some softened butter. Finally, some icing sugar. Give it a thorough beat until it's completely smooth. And then just pop that into the fridge for an hour to chill. After an hour of chilling, the cream cheese frosting will be nice and firm, perfect piping consistency. So just take a piping bag and just spoon the frosting inside. You want about a one and a half centimetre opening in the bag. Then take your cupcake and pipe swirls of the mixture on top. And just pull up with a little flick at the end. So that is your spooky ghostly shape. And now we need some eyes. So I've got some blueberries here. And just use a sharp knife. Just cut a little circle of blueberry. And there you go. Really simple but really effective. Cute spooks. Now select another creepy cupcake design. These pumpkin faces cake decorations are really simple to make and absolutely delicious. This icing's got a really great natural vibrant orange colour which comes from carrots, decorated with black grape and kiwi fruit to make the stalks and the face of the pumpkins. And all done is just peeled and chopped up the carrots and then boil them in water until they're completely soft and then just drain them and leave them to cool. So they go into a food processor and then just blend the carrots up into a completely smooth puree. And then once your carrot is blended to a nice smooth puree, just add the butter. And you want to make sure the butter's softened just to room temperature. And then the icing sugar. And then just for a little bit of sharpness, just a squeeze of lemon juice. And then pop the lid back on and blend it till it's completely smooth. And that's it beautiful, really bright from the colour of that carrot. And that's all super smooth as well, so that's perfect for piping. And then just fill your piping bag. Give the bag a bit of a shake, just to get all the icing down to the end. Twist the top, and then take a pair of scissors. And you want to leave yourself about a one centimetre gap at the end. And take one of the cupcakes, 
There's pipe lines straight down the middle. And then pipe lines out towards the edge to create those trademark pumpkin ridges. And then just a little tip. I always like to keep a jug next to me so you can put your piping bag in there and just hold it neatly so you can come back to it again. And it stops it running all over the work surface. And then to decorate and turn this into a proper pumpkin, I've got some kiwi and just cut a little stalk shape from the top. And that can sit in the top like a little pumpkin stalk. And then I've got some black grapes, which you can use to make the eyes, nose and mouth. So if you cut across like that into the grape, and then cut round each side, you'll end up with some little triangles. Do two little triangles for the eyes, and then one for the nose, and then just cut a bit of a zigzaggy line for the mouth. And there you have it, pumpkin and ginger cupcake topped off with a spooky pumpkin face. If you enjoyed that, take a look at one of my other Halloween cupcakes.